The early 20th century highlighted the importance of international cooperation and ocean mapping. This led to the creation of the International Hydrographic Bureau in Monaco in 1921 upon the invitation of Prince Albert I. Now known as the International Hydrographic Organization, in 2021 it has 94 member states. The IHO's work has evolved in parallel to changes in technology and member state needs. Early surveys were carried out using lead lines and sextants. With the introduction of GPS in the 1980s, global positioning made a quantum leap in accuracy, which in turn led to increasing accuracy in maps. In parallel, the IHO assisted in the development of hydroacoustic survey methods. The 1990s saw the introduction of forward-looking sonars, multi-beam echo sounders and the first digital maps. The IHO Transfer Standard for Digital Hydrographic Data, S57, in 1992 was a key stepping stone for the widespread use of digital data and computers in navigation. This resulted in the first mobile computerized navigation devices, the Electronic Chart Display and Information Systems, ECDIS. Thanks to globally harmonized data for electronic navigation charts, ENCs, these are now used by all ships on international voyages. With over 17,000 electronic navigation charts across the globe and the standardized international paper chart series, these are the most successful governmental standards for marine geoinformation. More recently, the introduction of autonomous vehicles and drones are facilitating surveys in remote or potentially dangerous areas. They can collect data for large areas quicker than a single ship and at higher resolution, especially in the ocean depths beyond the range of surface systems. Today, hydrographic data is used in many areas, fisheries and aquaculture, marine renewable energy projects, as well as baseline data to monitor the impacts of climate change. The IHO has evolved over the years and provides a forum for member states and international organizations to come together and address important issues. One of the most significant collaborative programs is the General Bathymetric Chart of the Ocean, JEPCO, a joint program of the IHO and the Intergovernmental Oceanographic Commission of UNESCO, IOC. Launched in 1903 by Prince Albert I of Monaco, it is still widely used and together with the Nippon Foundation JEBCO Seabed 2030 project, it aims to provide a complete picture of the seafloor. Already we have progressed from having a map of 6% of the oceans in 2017 to 21% in 2021. With the IHO Capacity Building Programme, which has assisted in education and training within Member States, citizen science initiatives and more, the history of the IHO is a story of successful international cooperation in hydrography and it will continue this important work in the future.